think I'm feeling the KA. Let's go with the KA. Rolling with Ronin on this one. Like I said, I'm pretty close to mastering Ronin. Been telling you guys, I got her at level 9. I'm almost at the halfway point. So we're going to see what we can do with Ronin. I like playing Ronin in TDM because TDM is so hectic that, you know, as soon as you show up on the map, like, everybody's swarming to you. You know, so Ronin, I think, has a real good advantage when it comes to 6v6 TDM. She can kind of freely move around, get kills, and all that good stuff. So, feeling pretty good. Oh, 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 man, got three taking shots. We just going, <laughs> we just going to go ahead and go around. Here's some footsteps. Hold up now, Cannon. You not pushing me, Saint. Let's go. We off to a good start. We off to a good start already. Nah, ain't no revs going on, player. I finished my kills. <laughs> I finished my kills like I finished my meals. So, another story <laughs> for this video. And I actually told this story like when I first started uh, doing YouTube when I was playing Call of Duty. But I know for a fact that I'd say 90% of you don't follow me because of my old COD videos back in the day. COD 2019 to be specific. It's for Rogue Company, you know, possibly, you know, uh, any of the other shooting games that I play. Or, you know, you might be over here from Street Fighter, Tekken, whatever your interest may be. You're rocking with your boy and that's all that matters. But the story was, this is going back to middle school. This is 8th grade, if I'm not mistaken. And I remember when I seen somebody get knocked out and woken back up in the same fight. <laughs> it was craziness so let me let me set the scene for you so I'm in eighth grade and every so often we would have a school dance and in order to go to the school dance there was a couple of qualifications there was a couple of things that you needed to do the first one you had to be passing all your classes didn't matter if it was all A's A's and B's straight C's as long as you were passing all your classes that was that was one of the requirements to be passing all your classes the next one you couldn't have any referrals or be suspended within the last two to three months last two to three months so basically you had to have a clean record oh no what was up with that aim it was potato aim all right and then I think the third one had to do with attendance. All right, so attendance, passing all your classes, not getting in trouble, to put it simply. And so if you was not meeting any of those requirements, you obviously couldn't go. But they still had something set up for us that couldn't go, like to be able to hang out, you know, in like the cafeteria and whatnot. So... I was one of those that couldn't go. <laughs> I had got a referral for who who knows whatever reason because your boy was not the most behaved in middle school. The middle school J Swab, like I have meddled I have meddled out. Mellowed out, good lord if I can speak. I have mellowed out since then. Like my personality then or now is definitely not what it was then. So it's me and maybe like fifteen other people we decide to hang out or whatever, right? And it was this one guy, his name was Brian. Brian somehow, because Brian used to stay getting in trouble, so I don't know how he even made it to the dance. But he was able to go to the dance. He went to the dance, and he came back, you know, to check, on, check us out, you know, hang out with us for a bit, and he would go back to the dance. So, you know, he was kind of going back and forth. So... There's this guy with me. How did I walk into that? So I'm chilling. There's this guy named Devin that's hanging out with me. And Devin's girlfriend got to go to the dance. But Devin couldn't. And Brian, he was the type of person. He would just, you know, mess with you. You know, all joking fun. But he would push your buttons, right? And so he's like, yo, Devin, I was dancing with your girl. She, you know, was backing it up, da-da-da. He's just talking all kinds of craziness. And I guess Devin was not with the jokes that day. 
And so Devin starts saying stuff back to Brian. Brian says stuff to Devin. And eventually, for whatever reason, back in middle school, it always got to the point where it was, I bet you ain't gonna do nothing. That was like the <laughs> that was like the the before the fight term right there. Like that was like the welcoming you to a fight. I bet you won't do nothing. And so Devin's like, say I won't. You know, now, you know, back in middle school, you had to kind of like try and draw the other person in, get the other person to hit you first out of that. And so Brian's like, if you walk over here, you know, I'm going to hit you in the face. So Devin walks over and mind you, where Brian is standing, he's standing by the wall to where you come in um, or the door rather. And there's a wall right there. So Devin walks up on Brian. Brian hits him with like a five piece combo. <laughs> like whoever was controlling Brian like put in the input for this combo. It was like they all connected. You know, so we go pop 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 pop. And you see Devin he like leans up against the wall and I see his eyes go close and he starts sliding down the wall. And then Brian started up another combo. This time it was probably like three punches. So bop, bop, bop. Right? And then Devin wakes up. He wake, He like popped up. Like he just woke up out of bed from a nightmare. And Devin like squares up. And he looks like he about to, you know, get his lick back. So then he comes up on Brian. And he throws the weirdest angle punch I've ever seen. There was no velocity. There was no... <laughs> There was no like direction, coordination, or anything with this punch. And Brian weaved it and then hits him again like three more times. And then <laughs> I felt bad for Devin because one of the bigger kids comes up and grabs Devin and starts holding him back. And I'm like, yo, my man, the one that just got, <laughs> he just got knocked out and woken back up. And you gonna hold him back? If I was Devin, I'd be ready to fight him <laughs> once my face heal up. So then Devin gets real mad and he starts like yelling stuff, you know, like, I'm going to get you, Brian. Like it was <laughs> it was like out of a dag. It was like a villain from a cartoon that was getting locked away or getting sent into like a portal. And then Brian just laughs and he goes back to the party like nothing didn't happen. And there was no faculty. There was no adults around when this happened at all. So Brian or Devin didn't get in trouble. Right? They neither one of them got in trouble. And probably like after like a week or so, they were cool. There was no animosity or anything. Which I feel like was the best times back in the day. You know, like, if you had an issue with somebody, y'all, you, you know, swab it out real quick, and then, and that was it. And that's how we was in middle school. So, it was pretty crazy, you know, like, hey, you knock me out, you know, watch when I wake up. I'm coming back. And if you knock me out again, I'm coming back again. I gotta get at least one. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was the first time I ever seen somebody in person get knocked out. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> so shouts out to Brian, shouts out to Devin. You know, if y'all see this for whatever reason, Devin, don't try and come get me. <laughs> you don't know where I live. But I thought I'd just share that with you guys. While I was turning up playing Ronin with the 7k damage, I was going ham. I almost had 40 downs that game, yo. <laughs> I was cooking in that game. I felt like I was just being aggressive. But like I said, when you play Ronin, you got that freedom of movement. You know what I'm saying? Like you you don't you're not restricted by anything. Which is pretty cool. So that I think that's why I, I like playing Ronin a lot more lately. Yeah. We was cooking, boy. Look at the carry. Look at the carry. Oh my goodness. Seven K damage. The next is two uh two thousand three hundred fifty seven. Mm mm mm. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Peace. Oh, good stuff. Oh, they just spawned me. Jumped out, run and jump. Right next to them. Oh, I'm down. One shot, one shot. Yeah. Oh, God.
you going for a ride. Uh, you going for a ride right here. 